Hi Pisces, I hope you guys are all doing really well and welcome to your general love reading for mid-September to the end of September 2022. This is going to be general for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Pisces and because it's general it's not going to resonate for all of you and that is perfectly okay but if you would like a personal reading you can find all that information in the description box. And also please keep in mind that the roles in this reading can be reversed because it's general. All right, Pisces, let's see. Second half of September, what is going on between you and another person? For Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, for the situation, we have the Knight of Cups crossed by the King of Wands. All right, so somebody is wanting to come in here with a love offer. It could be you wanting to approach another person or another person wanting to approach you in some way to open up um, in love or to just offer you something. Um, but it's the lack of confidence that is actually inhibiting this or presenting to be the challenge here. Let's see the recent past. We have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so this could be a person where um, you're actually more like friends or maybe you have some kind of a working relationship. I feel like it's more like, yeah, it, it has like a little bit of a platonic feel to it, but I feel like that's not really the case, right? Because somebody is definitely wanting something more here and is just not feeling that confidence. Let's see for your energy. We have the High Priestess and the Five of Swords. Okay, interesting. I think Scorpio had the Five of Swords exactly in this same position. Um, <clears throat> your intuition is speaking to you and you're not trusting it. Simple as that. You're doubting it. You're not sure if what you're feeling or if what you're thinking is actually um, accurate. For them, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. All right, a double seven here. So maybe that means something to somebody. Okay, so this person, it's like taking some steps here. Um, taking some steps, but they're a little bit guarded. Um, they're, it, it's like they're watering this, right? Like, okay, thinking about it this way, thinking about it that way, maybe just trying to organize things, trying to figure things out, taking like just little, little steps, and then ultimately like being like, okay, no, I'm guarded. Let's see what is coming up in the near future. We have the Two of Cups, <laughs> well, there you go. Um, that's love, that's romance. And the message here for you is the Ace of Wands. So, yeah, something, I feel like there's a new beginning, something is taking off here. This is actually looking pretty good. It feels a little like frustrating maybe initially, but then it's like moving in the direction of actually coming together quite nicely. Wow, Pisces, all right, let's see, let's clarify. Let's see the Knight of Cups with the King of Wands. Again, please remember that the roles can be reversed. So Knight of Cups, King of Wands. The Page of Wands, the Strength card, and the Two of Wands. Yeah, somebody's really just trying to build up the courage here. There's a lack of confidence in their own self, and it could be for a number of reasons. Um, it could even be attached to, you know, their sense of self-worth. It could be that they're not sure how you feel. It could be that, you know, they just don't know if they have enough to offer. It could be a whole bunch of different things. Um, but what I am getting here is that they are gradually building up that motivation. They're gradually building up that courage to to come forward, all right? We do have the Two of Wands, so yeah, it, there is some stalling here. There is some, like I said before, with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like they're planning, but just not acting on it yet because they're building up this, this courage here. Um, so yeah, it, I feel like at the moment they're this page when they need to reach the King's energy, okay? So they do have a little way to go here, but they are definitely moving in that direction. Let's see the Three of Pentacles for the recent past. Okay. 
the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Ooh, okay. So yeah, for some of you, it's definitely what I said before that there, that this is, um, you know, maybe you were just like in the friend zone or just a working relationship or there was just, you know, n nobody was really making a move here. Um, and this created actually pain. I feel like, you know, and for some of you, maybe that even ended. Maybe something happened where, you know, there's been some kind of a, some kind of a split or some kind of a, something that just created some pain or that created an ending. So for example, like if you were working together, maybe, you know, um, one of the two of you got switched positions or got switched departments. And so, you know, there's not much contact anymore. It's just an example. Um, for others of you, I'm actually getting that there might actually be a third party that's also been involved here, um, which may have this third party. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner. Like I'm actually not even getting that at all. Although of course it could be, but I'm just not getting that. Um, I feel like this third party may have actually been affecting this person's confidence in some way, almost like discouraging them from going after what it is that they want and from approaching you. I get that you you are probably left with the sense that, you know what, the possibility of this ever taking off is, is just not going to happen. So I do feel like something has happened that has led you to feel like, okay, well, now that this happened, whatever this is, um, that just killed any chance or any possibility of us ever um, coming together and exploring this potential, right? With this Ace of Wands here with the Ten of Swords. However, you do have the Ace of Wands as the message for you. So I feel like actually, you know, that's not quite true. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, let's continue. Let's see your energy here, the High Priestess and the Five of Swords. So let's actually, let's see them separately. Let's see the High Priestess. The Eight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Ooh, all right, Pisces. Your intuition is telling you to cut something out here. Um, to be possibly to cut something out either in terms of your own beliefs in terms of um, this fear right with the eight of swords like whatever it is that is keeping you trapped or especially if it's a third party someone else that is if this is you here if um, you know that's killing your your courage all right if that is you um, if you're on the other side of things, again, it's like your your intuition, you know, is telling you that, you know, what, what you believe and what you are thinking and your perception is actually very accurate in terms of how the other person feels about you and in terms of what is going on. But again, it's, it's like you're creating some kind of a fear. You're not trusting. You're not trusting your intuition. Um, and, you know, trusting your intuition doesn't even mean that you have to do anything necessarily. It's just, you know, just trust it. Just be open to it. Don't overanalyze things. Don't overthink think things. Let's see the Five of Swords. The King of Swords and Temperance. So we have both the Queen and the King of Swords. Some of you might be dealing with an air sign um, or a Sagittarius, all right, which is also showing up here. Um, we do also have Leo. Don't remember if I called that out. Yeah, I feel like, you know, this is really, really strong. You're being asked to be very determined here in some direction. Um, and to bring about some kind of balance in, in your own state of being. You're not trusting this, and I feel like for, for some of you, it could even be that you're not trusting the time span, whatever that means. But there's definitely a lot of, a lot of overthinking um, on your end here. Let's see what's going on with this person. I 
I just got another message here. You're also being asked to really stand up for yourself. Um, to put yourself first because that is the way that you are going to find balance. And even though it might be difficult, it requires some, some determinism here on your end. But this is what is ultimately going to give you peace. It's by actually putting yourself first. So take that however it resonates. Okay, let's see the seven of pentacles for the other person. And we have the five of wands and the ace of pentacles. Yeah, so this is somebody who definitely wants a new beginning with you. And like I said, they're, they're taking some steps here. They're taking some small steps, trying to organize this in their minds, um, just trying to figure things out. But this is also troubling them. Um, they're not, I feel like they're not really trusting themselves either in this. I, it, it actually comes in as them like blocking their own efforts even though they want this new potential, but it's like, yeah, they're blocking their own, their own efforts here. It's like taking some efforts, but then like, um, shying away from that, like almost scared of, okay, you know, like, what is this going to lead to? <clears throat> and so they're shying away from that. almost like arguing with their own self, like whether they're taking the right steps here. Let's see the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Swords and the Six of Cups. Why are they blocking out this connection? I mean, they definitely want this. This is this is a connection that they they're feeling very, very drawn to. I'm even getting that this person is feeling like nostalgia for you, like just really desiring this. Um, but again, there's it seems like there's just like a lack of trust all around, um, and so they're they're blocking this out. They're they're taking those steps, as I said, but then, but then like almost, almost like sabotaging their own self. Like, okay, wait, no, let me, let me turn around. Let me not move too fast. Let me just take a step back here. It does look like it's shifting though with that two of cups being in the near future. So let's clarify that. So this person actually has three sevens in their energy here. The seven of pentacles, the seven of wands, and the seven of swords. Okay, so two of cups for the near future. The seven of cups, another seven. <laughs> Let me know if, if, um, if you've been seeing sevens or if sevens are symbolic to you. All right, um, and the empress. Okay, so the more that you um, trust in your own self, all right, really find that empress energy within your own self rather than being confused about this, right, which was also showing up with this eight of swords and not trusting your intuition and just doubting and overthinking it and, you know, maybe just trying to be too rational about it. Like the more you just let it go and just trust in your own self, the more, the closer you're moving to love and to this connection coming, coming together. Um, I do see that there is confusion here still. Um, and you're being asked to just, you know, allow it to be, allow it to be what it is. Find that inner empress within your own self. And I feel like, like the confusion will subside because things will just start coming together. Let's see the Ace of Wands. The Six of Wands and the Three of Swords. So something is, um, it's, the potential is here for something to take off, right? 
Um, that Ace of Wands, which also showed up in in the it was in the recent past, right? That's associated with the Ten of Swords. Now it's showing up with the Three of Swords. So again, it's like feeling like you know you're going to be hurt by this, or feeling like this might be this new beginning might be attached to pain in any way. That is something that actually holds this connection back energetically. So again, I feel like the message is the same. You know, um, know that you can have success in this, that things actually can work out because the potential is here. I feel like it's just a matter of, you know, whoever it is here that needs to build up this courage and it'll happen. I, I, I do see it happening. It's just happening step by step. But the more that you stay in this Eight of Swords energy, like, you know, it just kind of holds things back in some way. So, yeah, Pisces. Interesting reading. I also get that you're going to have victory over whatever pain um, might have been here or in the past. So again, just trust your intuition. Let things be. All right, so the final oracle card that we have for you is time to go. Time to go. And I feel like, you know, if, if this reading has been resonating with you, you will know what this means. All right, whether it's time to go, like take action or move away from something, it's time to go. So take that message however it resonates for you, Pisces. And I'm going to leave it there. I thank you so much for watching, Pisces, and much love.